Good morning. I just got to school and it is about 6.45. I like to get here pretty early in the morning so that I can have some time to do things before the pigs come in. The first thing I do is I just get my desk area organized and then I get out my planner open up to this week. It is November 2nd. I open up to this week, kind of go through what I have going on this week and make a to-do list of things that I need to do. Copies, grading, emails, parent phone calls, stuff for DL on Google Classroom. And I just make sure I kind of know what my week looks like. And then I go on my computer. The first thing I always do is check my emails, respond to parents, and then I go on Google Classroom and I just double check that all the assignments are posted. They're all scheduled to go live at seven o'clock. So I just want to double check, make sure that everything is there and good to go for the day. So I am going to get some of that done and I will see you in a little bit. So I have some things that I need to copy and I just put in this little tray. This is to file, papers to pass back, things to copy and things to input in the grade book. So I have some things that I need to copy today that we will be doing. Then I just get set up for the first lesson of the day, which is Spalding. So if you come over here on my document camera, I have our paper for WPR already set up. I have lesson plans ready to go, our words ready to go, and our phonograms ready to go for the day. And then I just make sure everything, all my copies are ready for the week. So this is the tray that I organize all of my copies in that we're going to be doing for each day of the week. And everything is ready to go so I can just pull it out and pass it out to my kids. So the kids are going to be coming in in about 15 minutes. So I have some more things to get ready. Our morning slide is up and ready to go. So this is what the kids will see when they come into our classroom. It just has their directions on what to do. They need to get their supplies out for spalding. And then they will come over here to the bookshelf and get out Word Wizard. They will take it back to their seat and work on morning work. So it is time to get the kids and start the day. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Lanza. Good morning, Miss Rodriguez. All right, I need everything put away except for your materials for spalding. Please make sure that you have WPR paper, spalding notebook, pencil, and a red pencil. You may put Word Wizard away. You may put your highlighter away for now. Please make sure that you are sitting up like ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being ready, row two. Row one is almost ready. Row three is almost ready. All right, eyes on me in three, two, one, and zero. Thank you. Something good that happened to me is that last night, I had a cup of hot chocolate and it was delicious. Miss Rodriguez? Something good that happened to me is that I finished laundry. Keep in your head something good that happened to you. Alright, if you are at home, can you see me and my paper? Can you give me a thumbs up? Thank you. Awesome. If you are with me, can you see me and my paper? Awesome, my friends. We are going to give some friends about one more minute to join, and then we will get started with our Spalding lesson. Please make sure that you have your Spalding notebook, your WPR paper, your red pencil, and your pencil out on your desk. Make sure that you are sitting up in scholar position. Is everybody ready to learn? Yes, ma'am. Is everybody ready to learn? Yes, 
Awesome, great, I'm so happy to hear that. All right, we are going to get started. I need you to sit up, repeat the sounds all together. Remember, sounds like one voice. Q, A, A, Q, Q, Them one more time. I need to hear everyone saying them. Alright, so it is about 10.20 and the kids just went to recess. So our morning went, um, after our morning routine, we did spalding where I teach synchronous spalding for uh, my class and then all of the kids who are distance learners at home log on to a Zoom session and I teach all of them spalling and record the video. So now during recess, I need to upload the video in case anyone missed it or would like to go back and rewatch the video to Google Classroom. So I need to upload that video into my Google Classroom and the other third grade classes. But then after that, we did our math review and then we took a math test. And today we had our free period where we don't have any specials. And we did a little Veterans Day assignment where we had a PowerPoint presentation, filled out a little book on Veterans Day. And then later on this week, they're gonna be writing a thank you note to a veteran. And I'm really excited about it. We're gonna be talking about Veterans Day all week this week in preparation for the day on November 11th. So today, right now, during recess, I am going to upload Spalding video. I'm gonna go make sure that all assignments, again, are posted for the rest of the week in everybody's Google Classroom for the lessons that I plan. And then I'm going to start lesson planning for next week. This is also my snack time. And by this time, I'm usually starving, so I'm going to eat my snack. All right, so I already wrote out all of the spelling words for next week on their homework papers. And I just went through and I took pictures of everyone so that I can upload them as a PDF onto our Google Drive for the teachers in our th third grade folder. And then I also upload them onto Google Classroom for each day for the kids to see the words, they can print them out and practice them on their own. So right now I'm going to go on my computer, download them as a PDF and start uploading them. So as the kids are eating, I come in while Mr. Rodriguez stays with them and heat up my lunch and then I will eat with them in our classroom. After they came in from recess, we had about 15 minutes of silent reading time and then we went right into lunch. So we're gonna eat and enjoy our lunch by the fireplace together as a class.
All right, when I say go, please stand up. Stand behind your chair and hold for three seconds. Thank you for doing it quietly. Let's see who is ready to go. Please make sure that you have your mask on. Row one is almost all ready to go. Row two looks wonderful. Row three looks wonderful. All right, I'll let you do this thing. Start with the title and the author. Ready, begin. First Thanksgiving of all, by Nancy Bergeron. Peace and mercy in Jonathan, and patience by the table giving thanks to the first Thanksgiving of all. Very good. We're going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to do it with you. Are you ready? Yes. All right, start with the title and the author. Ready, begin. First Thanksgiving of all by Nancy Bergeron. Peace and mercy in Jonathan and patience very When I say go, you are going to sit down, put your poem in your blue, no, purple folder. Where are you going to put it? Purple folder. All right, so the pigs are now at specials, and I just made a bunch of copies that I need to sort through and make sure that they are in the correct spots for the week. I will show you my system on how I organize my copies and my week so that I am organized and ready to go after I am done sorting them and filing them. I just got everything organized and ready to go for the rest of the week. This is my organization system that I use. So I have all my copies, everything in the correct day of the week. So it's easy to grab. And then while they're at specials, I'll usually look over the things, the handouts that I need to pass out to them and put out my stuff over here on the document camera. So I am ready to go for the next lesson when they come back in. So now that they are at specials, you saw a little bit of the middle of our day. So after lunch, we went into literature where we previewed the vocabulary for the chapter and then um, I read the chapter aloud to them and have some discussion along with it. And then we went right into poetry. Today was the first day of our new Thanksgiving poem and they did a really good job reciting lines one through four together. Then we went into Lyceum and I let them get some work done that they needed to catch up on and now they are at specials so during this time is when i kind of go on google classroom monitor what the kids have been turning in what they've gotten done who still needs to turn work in i check parent emails respond to them i had just made copies in the beginning of the special time and brought them back up and organized them into my trays and I will continue lesson planning. I also just took my calendar down, switched it out for November. So I'm just finishing up. I need to laminate something and get that put on the calendar and get that hung up by the end of the day. And kind of just go through and organize my room and continue lesson planning. I got spalding done this morning. I was a little bit ahead. I got a week ahead last week, so that made it really easy. But now I need to do literature and start making handouts for the kids for next week. I like to kind of space it out throughout the week so that I'm not rushed and don't forget something. But I have all my handouts ready and copies to be made by Thursday. So I really try to utilize this specials time so that I can have everything prepped and ready by the end of the week. 
when the kids come back in from specials, I have about 15 more minutes, they will we'll go right into science and history, and then I will show you our end of the day pack up routine. Okay, I want you to show me, I'm gonna tell you the word, and I want you to show me in sign language. Sound good? Okay, yes? No. I love you. Make sure that your hands are in a stick. Ready? Go. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's it. Yay. No, thank you. Very good. Show me the number one. All right, does everybody have their homework in their backpack? Yes. yes. Does everybody have their homework written down in your planner? Yes. Very good, awesome. You guys had such a great day today. Thank you for working so hard. Did you all have a good day? Yes. Very good, I'm so happy to see all of your smiling faces today. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope that you get a lot of rest, you have a big fun, and get a good night's sleep. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Give me your eyes. Love you. Love you, Love All right, my friends, you need to have out a book. You may have the poem. If you need to go to the bathroom today, you may go. Um, you may go. You may go down to the office right now. All right. So we just got done with dismissal. At the end of the day, we do our end little send off with our I love yous. And then we get all packed up and we dismiss the kids from the class while they are waiting for their name to be called. Some of them are super helpful, love to help pick up trash on the floor. They do a really good job of doing it quietly and I am usually replying to parent emails, lesson planning, checking things on Google Classroom or posting things on Google Classroom for the following week. Then I call all of the kids and we're usually done by about four o'clock. So during this time, I usually get myself organized. I make sure I have my sonogram cards laid out for tomorrow. I clean up around my desk, make sure I have all my copies where they need to be. If I want to or feel like it, I'll put out small green materials so that I just don't have to do it um, in the morning. And I will put together my morning slide for tomorrow so that is already ready with the correct date and instructions for what they need to do and just make sure that everything is clean so i'm not coming into a mess tomorrow check my planner one more time and then get ready to go